A big question many RVers ask is what causes prongs or plugs or sockets or the receptacle to melt. Typically, the two most common causes of a melted plug or socket are a loose connection or low voltage. As long as you have a good full connection at proper voltage, there should never be any issues. When you have electricity flowing through wires, it is like electrons moving down an eight lane freeway. If there is a loose or bad connection, there's a point of high resistance, it's bottlenecking. It's like that eight lane freeway going down to two lanes. Electrons will be bumping into each other at this point. This will generate heat, which causes the melting. Heat in itself is resistive to the flow of electrons and causes more heat, which is more resistive, and so on until that point melts or burns out. Low voltage can also be a cause. This is because with inductive loads, the lower the voltage, the higher the amp draw to compensate. For example, your AC unit that is usually only 12 amps now requires 16 amps at a lower voltage. Amps are the flow or volume of electrons going through the wires. So if you increase your amps to compensate for low voltage, the wire will heat up. Again, heat is resistive to the flow of electrons, so it causes higher resistance that requires more amps and so on.